The saga of the Comet 4 continues with even more evidence being presented. Good morning, Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY. Uh, speaker Michael Madigan not on trial. The former speaker faces trial next year, but four people associated with what prosecutors allege is essentially a pay-to-play scheme of Comet offering little to do nothing jobs to Madigan Associates in exchange for favorable legislation nearly a decade long. A lot of evidence has been released, including video and audio evidence. Here's just a clip of uh, Madigan talking with Mike McLean about uh, various associates that was aired in court. When you're with Ann, you're talking about uh, Mike Zaleski. Mike Zaleski and Juan Ochoa and Joe Dominguez. Those are the three. Okay. All right. I right. think that's all I got, Mike. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now, again, Madigan not on trial until next year, but his voice has been pretty prominent. Joining us now is Brett Rowland. He is a reporter, investigative reporter, hanging out in the courtroom up in Chicago as the trial continues. And yesterday, Brett, uh, there was some uh, other audio evidence released. Tell us what uh, the latest is. Yeah, so for about an hour Monday afternoon, prosecutors uh, with no witness on the stand played a series of secretly recorded phone calls to the jury. Um. In one of them, or in several of them, defendant Michael McLean um, can be heard. At one point, he says that he's going to go up to Chicago and have a daddy talk with incoming chief executive Joe Dominguez, who was coming in to replace Ann Pramajori as at the top spot at ComEd. Um, and he also, uh, they're ca- talking pretty frankly about what, what's going to happen in Springfield. McLean says, I wouldn't trust Joe. I would trust Joe to think this is a quid pro quo and that he's wired. Um, McLean had no idea at the time that federal investigators were listening in on that call and that call was played in court yesterday. Um, And more calls are expected to be played in the coming days. Brett, we also uh, wrapped up the uh, witness testimony of what's being characterized as the prosecutor's star witness, Fidel Marquez. He wore a wire to essentially capture a variety of different conversations. I do want to air just a a few of these here. Uh, That includes uh, conversations with uh, Mike McLean uh, during a dinner where McLean is uh, having to uh, explain to Marquez, who is uncomfortable of sorts, of how to explain uh, do nothing jobs for various Madigan associates. Here's uh, McLean responding. It's a favor, and it's a, a Doherty contract. Yeah. So Doherty is the one that has to, has to prove if, if the IRS ever comes in and says, who are these guys and what do they do? Right. Doherty's got to prove it. So essentially trying to divert uh, attention and, and, and say, well, you just, you know, Doherty's the one that's going to have to do it, referring to Jay Doherty, another defendant in the ComEd 4 trial, and uh, even undercover recording that Mark has got of um, uh, Doherty that was released last week, uh, mm-hmm. indicating how indeed this is uh, this is, this plays out when it comes to explaining uh, the the payments to Doherty Associates for little to do nothing jobs. Here's uh, Doherty responding. That's just could be answered in Springfield with Madigan, and to get, to keep Mike Madigan happy, I think it's worth it. I mean, just because you'd hear otherwise. To keep Mike Madigan happy, it's just worth it, or you'd hear otherwise, he says. Uh, Brett, what's the jury been like? Have you been able to, to see the jury's faces when some of this stuff is actually being presented, or uh, how do you feel this is coming across in the courtroom? Sometimes it's hard to tell how it's coming across in the courtroom. The jurors have been very diligent. They each are given a huge binder, um, several inches thick each morning, and when the calls are played, they're they're told to turn to which page the transcript is on. So the jurors all sort of flip in unison and, and they look through and, and appear to be engaged while these calls are playing. But as I mentioned, the prosecutors played about an hour's worth of uh, calls just straight with, with little interruption. So I think some of these calls are pretty dense and there's sort of a lot of Springfield and political intrigue in these that I don't know that that comes across. Uh, but it is hard to tell. Well, we'll definitely be uh, watching this closely. I know you will be watching it closely in the courtroom itself, so greatly appreciate you taking the time. Let's connect again soon, all right, because this thing's still got weeks to go. Is that right? That's right. Lots more witnesses to come. Brett Rowland, investigative reporter up in the Chicago courts, federal courts, where the ComEd 4 trial continues today. Uh, be safe getting there, all right, Brett? 
Thanks, Greg. It is Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk. Now, 7.30, 6.32. Check that time. 6.32. 92.7 WMAY.